I want to talk to you about hunter-gatherers. Um, now, hunter-gatherers are something that uh, I first studied as an archaeologist and then later as an evolutionary psychologist. And um, I came to rather be fascinated by them and, and to like them really quite a lot. But um, I, I hope that I wasn't any, under any illusions about their being just, you know, innately great or terrible. Um, and that's what this talks about. Now, when I first read the journals of uh, Captain Cook, nearly said Thomas Cook there, Captain Cook going uh, to New Zealand and uh, Australia, as they are now called, um, I was very impressed by the way he sussed the Maori and the Australian Aborigines like that. Uh, he saw straight away that the Maori were big, muscular, warlike guys. They were organized uh, and um, uh, they really had their act together in tribes and so forth. And um, whereas the Australian Aboriginals were much more laid back, much more individual, um, quite disorganized, but, and this impresses me particularly, happy. He spotted that. These guys are happy. Now you would think perhaps that a man of, of uh, his, his time would have just written all these people off as, oh, they're just ignorant savages. You know, they, 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 they have superstitions and they just, just rub sticks together and ugh. But uh, no, he, he spotted them actually pretty much for what they were. In the case of the Maori, um, who weren't strictly hunter-gatherers, um, well-organized and warlike, and in the case of um, the much smaller Aborigines, um, happy. That impressed me. Um, but a lot of people, of course, in the past have written off hunter-gatherers as just ignorant savages full of appalling superstitions and uh, so forth, and barbaric and cruel, perhaps, um, which they're not particularly. Um, and yet there's been a sort of flip, hasn't there? In, in modern times, I, I keep hearing people talk about hunter-gatherers as they're just sort of super people, wonderful people. Oh, not like us nasty, ignorant, cruel, wasteful, uh, destroyer types who live in towns and, and modern societies and oh how, how we must hate ourselves. No, they are godly, wonderful people in tune with nature and they are the guardians of the universe. Um, do you know, they're not. The first mistake is to, to think that they're different from us. You know, the first mistake was to say, oh, they're different from us, they're, they're lower than us, they're savages, they're ignorant, they're cruel and they're barbaric. Um, and the second mistake is actually the same mistake, is to think that they're different from us. You know, oh, and they're, they're wonderful, wonderful, kind, godly people. No, they're not. They're just people, okay? Some of them are stupid. Some of them are cruel. Some of them are lazy. You know, and some of them are great. Some of them are really funny. Some of them are kind. Some of them are generous. They are people. They're just like, they're just like any group of people that you might happen anywhere. They're just humans. And don't, don't ascribe to hunter-gatherers, you know, some sort of virtues that they don't have. Um, and some people think, oh yes, but they, they're in tune with nature and they're protected from the environment. No, they're not. If, a, if a, a farmer, for instance, is thinking, right, now which of my pigs shall I slaughter today? He's very unlikely to slaughter a sow that's heavily pregnant because he's going to think, well, actually, if I let her live for a bit longer, she's going to have a litter and that's going to be good, right? So I'll slaughter one of the boars. But if a hunter-gatherer is out hunting and he sees a heavily pregnant sow, he thinks, way extra meat. Um, no, they're not guardians of nature. They're just people living the life that they live. Um, the Hawaiians, for instance, uh, archaeology has now shown us, um, troughed their way through and made extinct an awful lot of species uh, in, in you know, their neck of the woods before the white man ever showed up. 